What's going on guys? It's your boy VGK Cubs back with another tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best NVIDIA control panel settings in 2020. You've probably seen a lot of videos on this and it might be exactly the same, but I've had the same settings for a long time and I've never once had any issues. Before you guys watch this video, I'm trying to put out new content for you guys, so just go ahead and hit that like button and please subscribe if you're new. If you can't like it, that's okay, but it's just a quick click to hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. So we're going to go ahead and open up the NVIDIA control panel. First thing we're going to do, we're going to start at the very top, adjust image settings with preview. If it's already on the, it may, if you've never messed with it, it's going to be on let your 3D application decide. You're going to want to click this bottom one and slide this to performance but then still select the use NVIDIA 3D settings and hit apply. We're going to go through these pretty quick because they're pretty easy. So these first six, image sharpening, ambient occlusion, anisotropic filtering, FXAA, gamma, and mode, you're going to turn all these off. CUDA GPUs, you're going to leave that set to all. DSR factors, that's going to be off. You probably won't even have to mess with those. They'll probably already be set like this by default. Low latency mode is the only one that you can maybe mess with. If you see any videos that tell you to put it on ultra, you should already click off that video because that is wrong. Usually you want it set to on, but if you're running the newest driver and you play Fortnite and you have the on plus boost reflex low latency on in game, it pretty much makes this non-existent. So if you're not using the updated driver, you want to turn this on. If you're using the new driver and it's on in Fortnite, you could leave it on, but it's going to override it and use the Fortnite reflex low latency. The max frame rate, you want to leave that off. Monitor technology, fixed refresh, multi-sampled off. Open rendering GPU, make sure you select your graphics card. Power management, prefer maximum performance, preferred refresh rate, highest available. And then we got shader cache on, texture filtering, anisotropic sample on, LOD bias, allow, quality, high performance, trilinear optimization, and threaded optimization is on. Vertical sync and triple buffering off, pre rendered frames one, and virtual reality off. Go ahead and apply that. And then you want to go over to program settings. And if you played Fortnite recently, if you hit add, you'll see it like it is right here. And then you press add. If it's not here for any reason, you want to hit browse. And then you want to click on the drive that your PC or that your Fortnite's installed on. Like mine's my C drive. So you want to double click, hit program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and then double click on the Win64 shipping. It's going to be the biggest size, 175,000. And then double click on that and it'll give it priority and add it right here. Next, we're going to go down to configure surround. Only thing you're doing in here is changing this to your graphics card. Hit apply and you're good. Change resolution, pretty simple. Just make sure you're on your native res or whatever res you want. And at the highest refresh rate, your computer allows it to go. NVIDIA color settings, you can choose this if you'd like. You just want to make sure that your output dynamic output dynamic range is on full. That's the only thing that you'll change. If it's unlimited, change it to full and hit apply. Same thing with the desk, uh, adjust desktop color settings. I used to use the NVIDIA settings for all this, but lately I've just been leaving it by default. Um, but you can do NVIDIA color settings and change the vibrance and all that. You can actually do that without that, but the, cutters, the color settings, it's almost exactly the same. You don't want to worry about rotate display, HDCP, set digital auto. You can skip all over that. And then adjust desktop size and position. Okay, so with this, if you have a GPU scaling monitor, no display, like for instance mine, it only says perform scaling on GPU. You want to put it on full screen and then uncheck the override scaling mode. If it's unchecked, leave it unchecked and then hit apply. But if for any reason it's like my second monitor here and I actually have the display scaling option, then you want to put it on no scaling and then perform scaling on display. 
and then also leave that unchecked. With G-Sync, if you have a G-Sync monitor, just make sure you uncheck this and leave it off. You don't have to worry about multiple displays. Video color settings, you can also choose NVIDIA color settings if you want NVIDIA settings, and then change this from limited to full, but I just leave it on default. And then hit apply and OK. And that's it with the panel. Um, what you could do, you can type graphics settings in the search bar. And what you could do, all you want to do if you have nothing here, just hit browse. And then you can select these, double click, and it'll enter it right here. You'll just want to make sure you hit options and set it to high performance. And then it just hit save. That'll also give Fortnite a little priority. All right, guys, that'll be it for the video. Let me know if it helped in the comments, and make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, peace out.